Well, hey, welcome back to uh, Do Things Make Stuff. Today we're going to be talking about some of the updates that have come from Scribbit. Now, I posted a video uh, about a month ago. Uh, shoot, maybe it wasn't even quite that long. Um, just talking about the Scribbit. I did an unboxing and talked about kind of initial impressions, and they've been continuing to do updates, and I've had some learnings along the way as we're continuing to uh, continuing to use it, um, try different things, try it in different areas, different surfaces. Um, and actually my first video is about to hit, I think 9,000 views at this point. And uh, Scribbit has reached out to me three or four times asking for questions, asking for feedback, um, and even just this week, sending me a hundred more pens to try out. They said they've got a new manufacturer and some new things to try. Um, they've got some updates that have been happening online and some emails and things they've been sending out. So let's give them a try and see um, a month later uh, where they're at. And I'm going to try to answer as many questions as I can. A lot of people have been posting questions in the comment section, so I'd love to address as many of them as possible just to help you make an informed decision if this is something that you are potentially interested in purchasing for yourself. All right, well, first things first, let's talk about the new pens. They sent me uh, two packs of 48 pens, and uh, 48 of them are for, for drywall, 48 of them are for plaster. Um, and so here is my initial test. Um, I have a little clip from um, the same exact drawing in the same place um, without even adjusting or moving the scribbit with the old pens and then with the new ones. Now, the new ones, you can see they look a lot better. Um, this is the black marker and honestly it looks gray. Um, I would say they're they're good, they're not phenomenal. Um, the Crayola ones still are looking better, but what's still so impressive to me is the amount of detail. There is so much detail um, that the Scribbit can do and draw with. Um, the, there's one little error on this one, which I don't know if it was me or something. Uh, I had a large group of people in here while I was drawing. Is that it didn't really line up quite right over there. But um, this drawing is really cool. And honestly, I think it's good enough. I, I think my expectations are always high, but having a pen that also can erase itself um, with heat and on the new boxes. So here's the new box that they just sent me. Um, with all of these beautiful colors in there. So there's all these colors. Here is the other piece that I just sent them an email about is my drawing that I had, that one, uh, one marker. Yeah, so as soon as that drawing was done, I put the marker back in the container, put the cap on it, and uh, pulled it back out to draw something else, and it was dry. So I'm hoping to get one more than one drawing out of a pen um, because here's the deal. They only sell it in that 48 pack with all of those colors. So I just sent them an email and said, hey, if I'm going to be using this thing a lot, um, I would love to just buy a pack of 20 black pens, 20 of one color, which I'm sure that is something they're planning on doing. Um, but right now you can only go online and buy a pack of 48, um, which is not cheap. Uh, but again, they're specialty markers, and we've been playing more with the Crayola ones. Some people have been asking questions about the Crayola markers. Um, they work great. The drawing color is very vibrant, vibrant on the walls. Um, the tip of the pen is a little bit finer, so the drawings are a little thinner, but again, very sharp, very bright color. The issue is, is the diameter of the, the tip of the Crayola pen is just like, just barely works. So I think they're gonna be only a one-time use too because I noticed after it finishes drawing, the tip of the pen is smashed just a little bit and that just a little bit is just enough not to work. So um, I pulled the Crayola pen out because I was gonna try it as a side-by-side -side, and I couldn't get it to work because the tip of the pen was smashed. So that kind of answers that question. And, and again, I still think that their color is brighter and um, it, it looks good, but that could be really expensive if you only get one shot out of a pen. And again, just for comparison, uh, on the same drawing, I used Crayola and I used the Scribbit markers. Now, if you look really close, the Crayola ones are purple, the Scribbit markers are red. Um, there's a significant difference. I mean, they it's visible. You can see it's still, it, you can see what the design is. It still looks good, but 
it, it feels like it's a little lacking to me. It's not just quite right. And then if I go over here, you can see that this is the Crayola drawing. Um, it's just really well done. It's easily defined. The lines are very sharp. So um, as I walk away from a distance, that one versus the other one, it's up to you. You make your choice. They both work. The Crayola pens are sharper and they are washable. So I can wash them off with a wet rag. So you can make the choice yourself. The Crayola ones are washable. You can just wipe them right off um, while the uh, Scribbit pens come off with heat. Now what's actually is interesting um, is the plaster markers on the new box says it's erasable by the scribbit and by hand. Um, so I tried wiping off the wall and they do kind of come off to be honest, um, which I, maybe that's good. But uh, I, they asked me if I tried the ceramic heater. I haven't really tested it yet. I, I don't feel super confident in it. The times that I have tried to press the button, um, it says that the scribbit was drawing. So I haven't got the, the ceramic eraser to work correctly, but I just use a heat gun. Uh, it's really fast. I can erase an entire drawing in a minute or two um, versus using the scribbit to slowly move across the whole thing, which would take time. Um, it's much faster for me to use a heat gun and to um, dry the whole thing uh, or to erase the whole thing with a heat gun. So that's how I erase them. It's just easier. So a couple things, um, software wise, they have updated a few things. The auto calibration for the pen holder is massive. That was one of the places where I was having a lot of issues up front is um, I thought that I had the pen lined up correctly in the holder and it wasn't working. Now when you start your print, it spins it both directions a few times, um, auto calibrates itself, and then the pen has worked beautifully every time. So that has been an, an awesome upgrade. I'm still waiting for the auto calibration of the unit itself. When you mark the wall and say, okay, this is the starting point, you have to manually turn the sides, which a couple of tips for you. Um, plugging it in uh, seems to free up the stepper motors a little bit more than unplugged. So when it's plugged in, the stepper motors are unlocked. It makes it much easier to turn them to line them up for calibration. Um, so between the pen and that, once they get the auto one where you can move it using your iPhone, that's gonna be so much better. because that's probably the worst part of using this thing. All right, so I've got some time to test out the upload feature. It wasn't working for me initially. Uh, I, I don't know what was going on. I think it might have not been related to that feature, just something else is going on, but <clears throat> it worked. So you go online to the uh, web browser and you upload your graphic. It's gotta be uh, 10, uh, 1024 by 1024 pixels. That's the size of the, the document. And then you can upload it. Now, um, their viewer didn't have any sort of like threshold adjustments or anything, which I thought maybe it would. Um, I, I did just a, basically a big text. Um, it says hopeless, 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 hopeful um, for a series that we are doing right now. Um, and when I uploaded it, these were all solid. And when it drew it, it drew it as line drawing. So um, it works, it looked good. Um, it's pretty big, which is great. That was one of the things I was a little nervous about. And then another thing I wanted to test while I was doing all of this is I tested two different pen colors from the new set. I've got red and I've got purple. Now, um, the red one, uh, it's, it's okay. Again, it's kind of the same thing. Um, from this distance, it's a little hard to see. Um, you really see the purple, the red one kind of disappears. But one of the things I wanted to try was doing an, an kind of an outline or an overlay. So I centered it and calibrated it on the same point, exactly on the wall, changed the pen, and then started drawing again to see kind of how the accuracy was. Um, and you can see it's consistently off and it looks kind of cool. Um, but that's kind of the accuracy. If you start again, if you want to draw over with another color, or if you want to draw and try to make the lines bold again, you can't really do that. Um, but it works. So the upload works. I'm going to try some uh, more intricate things. And, uh, but in general, that feature works. I'm really excited about those possibilities. If you want something that where you can put our work on the wall that's not perfect, that's not like some big bold statement, you want something on the wall that's unique and different where people can watch it move. Um, I love when people are in the room and are seeing it because it's mesmerizing, mesmerizing to sit there and watch 
um, this robot kind of look like it's crawling up your wall and then there's a picture afterwards. People love to watch it, which was part of the reason that I bought it. It wasn't just to put artwork on the wall, it was more of the experience of people being there while it was drawing. And it's really quiet, so I have it in a, in a classroom and uh, while people are in there and things are happening and people are hanging out, it can be moving around and drawing and then a couple hours later have an awesome drawing. If you were looking for something to put some really crazy giant picture in, in a very precise spot, this isn't it yet. Not saying it won't be in the future, um, but uh, somebody was comparing it to like, wow, we used to just project on the wall and then trace it and paint it in, which is something that I still do, even though I now have the scribbit, um, because if you need something exactly, it's nice to have the projector and to see it on the wall before you start going. You notice I'm sitting on the ground because that's where my drawing took place. Um, I calibrated it using the methods that they show and it drew almost on the ground. Um, I don't know if you can see it. Again, this is with the brand new marker that I just put in. Um, the drawing ends about right here and starts about three feet, about where the top of my head is. So for some reason, it drew it on the floor. And that's one of the other things that I would say Scribbit probably needs to work on or update is there's no way to know when you draw something where it's going to go on the wall. And I think that's a little bit of an issue because I have the nails almost up at um, eight and a half feet in the air and I can't get it to consistently draw in one spot. Um, most of the time it is fine, but then every once in a while you get one that ends up on the ground. And I, I don't know why I wish it would give me an estimation of where the drawing was going to be based on um, the distance between the screws or the mounting points. Um, so that's one of the things that I would love to see from Scribbit as they're writing software and updating things, the ability to know where my drawing is going on the wall. So right now you saw I've got four drawings going across the wall. What I'm trying to do is kind of create a tattoo sleeve look. I'm trying to get drawings all over the wall in all different locations and then have artistic students come in and connect them and fill in all the empty spots. So it really looks like one art wall all the way across start to finish. And I'm hoping it's going to be able to do that, but I think that's going to, uh, for that to happen, I'm going to have to kind of fudge and cheat uh, the settings on it and the calibration to make it draw where I want it to draw. But then I'm just kind of guessing because my one drawing today that I thought was going to be nice in the center of the wall was how to fold an origami um, to make uh, to make some uh, butterfly. Um, it drew it close to the ground. So now I got to go erase it and I'll probably have to change some of the settings so that it draws in the correct spot. Um, so there's still things they're working on. There's still things that are coming out. Um, the team is doing exactly what I thought they would do. They are actively updating and working on software. Um, some of the people that have been commenting on my previous video have complained about having software connectivity issues. Um, they released an update that was supposed to help repair some of that, make that connection better. Um, issues with um, uh, pens and uh, color and wires and some things. But again, you have to remember that when you buy a product like this, this is an untested Kickstarter. You are buying into the idea that this company is going to continue to be working and researching and developing this. So. For $300 or whatever it is, $400 for this piece of equipment to do what it does is very phenomenal. If you are looking for a finished product that you don't have to mess with, um, this probably isn't it yet. There are still bugs, there are still things they are fixing, but the good news is, is the Scribbit team seems like they are showing that they are continuing to be working on this product. So I have very high hopes. Um, I was meeting with somebody the other day and they have this giant wall. They're trying to figure out what to do with it. And I was like, I've got a thing. Um, and I feel confident that I could bring it somewhere um, and I can have it do some cool stuff for people. And I'm hoping that those um, abilities will continue to grow. Like I said, it's here and I think it needs to be here and there's things that they're currently working on uh, to make the user experience better, uh, to make the customization better and um, really the big thing is figuring out pens. I tried uh, a chalkboard somebody was asking about. I tried a chalkboard. It, it didn't work because the chalkboard pens 
um, have to be vertical in order for the uh, paint to flow through to the nozzle. And uh, putting it on the scribbit and having it sit horizontally, um, the ink dried up in, the, in those chalk pens almost immediately. So that didn't work. If anybody has any suggestions, I would love something. I really want to draw. I have a, a eight foot or a eight foot tall wall that's almost 20 feet long that is chalkboard. And I would love to be able to draw some intricate things that people then color in and chalk. And then we'd wipe off and clean and start again. So I'm really interested in that but I need a pen or something that's able to do that. Just don't have that yet. So um, if you have any more questions, let me know. So this is update video number one. Potentially there will be more depending on where things go with Scribbit. But here's what I want you to know. They're working on things. Things seem to be updating. They've actually been emailing me, so they're clearly watching this video because they're commenting on um, people's uh, comments and interactions. Um, their customer service for me has been good. I haven't had any issues. Some people are saying that they are. Um, I think the reality is, is this is a cool piece of tech that is still being updated and refined, and this company is doing that. So um, if you want to get in on it early, I think now's a great time. I don't think, uh, I don't think that you are getting gypped on a product by paying for by paying for this right now some people might have uh, other opinions i think this is a very cool piece of equipment and i'm really excited for what it can do um, is this exactly i thought it was going to be right now no i thought it would be a little further um, but they're showing that they're working that they're continuing to develop this um, and i think the future for scribbit is bright um, i think the biggest thing for me to figure out right now is the pens. How do I get a nice bright drawing on the wall exactly where I want it to be? Um, I think if they figure that out with the custom uploads of your own images, um, the potential is massive, but we're still figuring it out. So thanks for checking out this video. I know it was long. I was trying to answer as many questions as possible. If this is the first time you're seeing this video and you're like, what the heck, um, go back. I've got an unboxing video and a initial impressions and review video. Um, so if you're just stumbling across this for the first time, uh, well, you're probably not to the end of the video because it's been really long, but trying to answer as many questions as possible. So thank you for watching. Um, and uh, if you have any questions, post them in the comment section below. If you'd like to see something else, um, something specific, you have a drawing that you're wondering about or an upload or an error, let me know. I'd love to try it out. Um, Scribbit is emailing me constantly uh, or constantly three times um, but uh, if you have something you'd love me to pass on to them they're emailing me so I can do that for you